Hey there guys, thank you for coming back to my review channel for today's review. Let's talk about Annie's Homegrown Shells and White Cheddar Macaroni and Cheese. My brother actually gave this to me when, uh, he gave me four boxes of this when I first got my apartment. And let me tell you, the first two boxes I had of this, I thought, ah, you know, it's just mac and cheese, it is what it is. This time around though, oh my goodness, I have made the bomb ass mac and cheese. Just so amazing. So, so amazing. So, this mac and cheese has white cheddar in it, mozzarella in it, and Nathan's cheese filled hot dogs. Mm -mm -mm. You want to talk about a dinner made for a king? By a king, dinner for a king and a queen by a king. This is delicious. And uh, it took, I want to say, it probably took about the noodles. The shells are a little bit harder than normal shells. So the shells, I want to say, probably took about 15 minutes to get good to where I felt like they were good and they would be able to hold the cheese and everything like that. When you get when you get some shells, it matters to me how good the shells hold the sauce or mac and cheese. They have the hug of the cheese in this instance. I can't stand when I eat something or if I'm having something like that, you know, has sauce with it. If the pasta doesn't hold the sauce efficiently, myself personally, I find that as a disappointment. Not because the person didn't cook it right, it's just because the shells or the uh, pasta that they used was inadequate for the sauce. This is just absolutely incredible with this extra cheese on it. Use about, um, that's about maybe two and a half, three ounces of Sargento's shredded mozzarella traditional cut. And uh, this is just absolutely delicious. Mm. Now let's see what they advertise. Now I realize mine is going to have a lot more different calorie content than if you were to just get this one. But uh, serving size is 2.5 ounces. Serving size is about 2.5. Uh, to be fair, this is one serving for me. This is not no 2.5 servings for me. This is one serving. Calories... Uh, as a mix, I don't know who would just eat this as a mix, but I guess there are some rabbits out there that do enjoy it as a mix. But prepared, 270 calories. Fat calories, 40. Total fat, 7%. Sat fat, sat fat uh, total fat, 4.5 grams, 7%. Sat fat, 2.5 grams, 13%. Trans fat, 0. Cholesterol, 10 milligrams, 4%. Sodium, 500 milligrams, 21%. Total carbs, 47 grams, 16%. Fiber, 2 grams, 9%. Sugars, 4 grams. Protein, 10 grams, 12%. That's pretty cool. Vitamin A, 2%. Vitamin C, 0. Calcium, 10%. Iron, 4%. Thiamine, 10%. Folic acid, 10%. Uh, contains wheat and milk made on shared equipment that also processes egg ingredients. Uh, we work with trusted suppliers, sourced only non-GMO ingredients, store in a cool, dry place. Meet Bernie. Bernie was Annie's pet Dutch rabbit. When she started the company, Annie chose him to be our official rabbit of approval, representing the simplicity, care, and goodness in all of our products. So that's what it is. You have the rabbit of approval. And uh, we have Annie's way how to cook it in 10 minutes. How to make mac and cheese in 10 minutes. And they also have this little note here that says, Dear friend, my Rob, my husband Rob and I were in the Annie's Consumer Relations and Mail Order team for several years and were accustomed to the phone ringing day and night. If the phone rang at 2 a.m., it might have been a friend or a family member, but more likely it was someone calling to order mac and cheese. Annie's original warehouse was an old grain mill with no climate control. Rob and I hand-addressed every mail-ordered case... And during the winter months, I often used the hairdryer to keep my fingers nimble. We packed our two-door Volkswagen with up to 50 cases, keeping our tiny post office busy. 
My connection to our consumers deepened with every case sent during those years. A connection, I believe, is the foundation of Annie's. Bye for now, Annie. I like it. I like the little story about it. That's pretty cool. I really, really enjoyed this mac and cheese. Mm. It is just super, super delicious. It's just, it's a knockout. It's so good. So, so cheesy. Who doesn't love a lot of cheese on their mac and cheese? So good. So good. Would I do this again? Absolutely. Although next time, instead of mozzarella, I might go with cheddar. Mozzarella was the it was an impulse decision because the mozzarella was the only cheese that I had that was open. Oh yeah, Johnny Five stays with cheese, cheddar cheese, uh, pepper jack, uh, American. So many good cheeses are out there. Gouda. Who doesn't like a little Gouda? Just, wow. So delicious. Another piece of, uh, as you can tell, there's steam on it. So this is definitely hot, hot, hot. But it's super delicious. And it's just, absolutely, it's just amazing. It is. And it's the joy of cooking. I never really would have thought I would enjoy cooking. Recently, I love it. It's probably one of my favorite things. As always, guys, my name is Johnny Five. Hopefully, you enjoyed this review. Now you know a different way that you can make your mac and cheese as well. You can add mozzarella to it. You can add some hot dog pieces to it. Don't be shy. Just turn it up. It's all going to the same place anyway. So if you enjoy it already... You probably would enjoy it when it's mixed up together. As always, guys, my name is Johnny Five. This has been a review for Annie's Homegrown Shells and White Cheddar Mac and Cheese. As always, guys, give me a thumbs up. Show me some love in the comment box down below. If you're new to the channel and this is the first video you're catching, a lot more content coming up, make sure you subscribe in the corners and you ring that bell. Daily uploads here. And uh, check the description box for Jay Glees' channel. He's uh, doing some time lapse with a Dremel and a piece of a log. It's definitely worth checking out, and it'll be in the description box for you, waiting. So, be good, be safe, guys, and I will catch up with you guys on the next one. Later, taters.